Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video to kick off a whole slew of reviews of the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster Builder Figure series. But for regular viewers, don't worry, that feeling isn't deja vu, as it's not the Hulkbuster series I reviewed last year, no siree, but is in fact this new one. And I stand corrected, that feeling is deja vu, as this wave is also unofficially being called the best of Marvel Legends wave, hey I'll be the judge of that, because it features previously released action figures. Info is still scant, but I've heard these won't see a release in the US. As such, I consider them a make-do from Hasbro for all us folks this side of the pond who are more commonly getting stiffed. I'll start with Captain America, previously released in 2012 to accompany the Avengers movie. Back when in a flip-flop to today, three and three quarter inch scale was still Hasbro's favourite son, so the six inch figures were relegated to Walmart exclusives. The side art features Cap flinging his shield and the likeness of Chris Evans and I'll pause so you can make the most of it on the side art because spoiler for the figure it sure ain't got it. The reverse of the packaging pictures the figure along with a brief bio. When the battle for justice demands a hero, Steve Rogers suits up as Captain America. Well, I did say brief. Then picture to the rest of the wave, and in reviews I will go over key differences from their previous releases, concluding with the Hulkbuster who sports a significant difference. So here is Cap out of packaging, one from the wave I'm as happy as a pig in a blanket to get, because as I said previously, a Walmart exclusive. While as you may have seen me in my toy hunting hit Asta, which is a chain here in Blighty, owned by the American overlord Walmart. Yet Walmart exclusives showing up at our dear old Asta? Not so much. Including that Avengers 6 inch series from which this cap springs. A state of play which frankly shocked me. I mean Avengers was only like one of the biggest movies of all time. And why should Hasbro sell more figures when they can sell less? I admit I'm not businessman of the year, but sometimes it seems like they just don't want to make money. Phew, rant over and back to being happy to have this, which might struck some as odd as, let's face it, it's not that great, is it? I say that, but to its credit, some nice sculpting going on here, with it capturing all the various textures of the costume down to a really fine detail. It's literally like you can see the fibers of the fabric, but letting that sculpt down is the minimal paint application. That results in a really garish flat red and blue plastic that strikes me as well knockoff looking. A paint wash would not only help create a more varied and naturalistic tone, but also accentuated the otherwise commendable sculpt. What paint there is, is hit and miss, as so some blue of the plastic is visible through the silver paint on the star on his chest. But then in contrast, the A and wings on the helmet have been painted much more expertly. So was I wrong about it not having Chris Evans's likeness? To my eye, it's more generic man squeezed into a helmet that's a bit on the small side for him. Not that other movie cap figures have really nailed the likeness either. However, others have nailed being better movie cap figures overall. I'm thinking the Winter Soldier Mandroid Bathwave Cap, the Age of Ultron Thanos Bathwave Cap, and most recently the Civil War Giant Man Bathwave Cap. Yeah, all those are, for the most part, the same actual action figure. So I'll take what I have here instead, a slightly worse movie cap over a fourth version of a better movie cap. In fact, thanks to Hasbro, I'm saving that fourth version for the one that I'm gonna have to buy because it comes packed with the new Civil War Spider-Man. But back to this action figure and in defense of it compared to the other cap movie incarnations, it's not exactly a level playing field as the first Avengers movie is probably the worst his costume has looked. Other than the first cap movie with the one he wore touring theaters, but then that one was supposed to be bad. As an accessory, he does come with his shield as without it would be like one of my videos without a mm, bye. It's rendered in red, silver and blue. The reverse surprised me as of late I've become accustomed to his shields having that peg and wrist clip combo. Here we get actual straps and as I wrestle it onto his arm the straps are adjustable to secure it in place but do leave the excess of the strap kind of hanging there so in striking a nice pose you'll need to tuck that away. The cool part of the straps is that they can actually be used to strap the shield to his back, which after wolf caps falling bra straps this warms the cockles of my heart. Now looking at the articulation and the head rotates side to side and he has a neck hinge which moves his head down this far and then also moves his head up this far. At the shoulder his arm rotates and this hinges up 
really quite far. There's upper arm rotation, followed by a double jointed elbow, and yep, then there's rotation at the top of the glove there, yet no wrist rotation or hinge. What? No waist rotation, but in lieu of that, he has a rotating diaphragm joint, and this also crunches slightly forward, but does crunch further back. At the hips, his legs move out to the side really quite far, and then they move this far forward, and this far back. There's upper leg rotation, followed by a double jointed knee, but then boo, there's no lower leg articulation whatsoever, except for an ankle hinge, which moves backwards and forwards, and that crazy ankle rocker pivot that I love. And taking advantage of that ankle pivot, and no doubt bringing a tear to your eye, this is him stood at his widest stance possible, still with both feet flat on the floor, and frankly, his junk flat on the floor pretty much too. All things considered, he is a bit of a mixed bag, decent sculpt, yet yeah, next to no deco. Missing certain points of articulation I expect from Legends, but then what is there has great range. Ultimately, I'm glad to add one of those dangling carrots to my collection that had until now been beyond my grasp. Anyway, for more Cap and his boyfriend, sorry, I mean best friend Bucky, click this video to check them out in Marvel Select form, and stay tuned as the Hulk from this series steps into the spotlight. As ever, please give this video a big thumbs up, and I hope to see you all next time. Mm, bye.